The man who first warned the international community 20 years ago of the impending genocide in Rwanda is fighting to ensure it doesn't happen again. Romeo Dallaire was the UN's force commander in Rwanda at the time. His warnings were ignored and 800,000 people were slaughtered. Kristen Salumi has this report. It was one of the 20th century's most heinous crimes. The Rwandan genocide left half a million ethnic Tutsis dead at the hands of their Hutu rivals. The man who watched helplessly as it unfolded was the former United Nations commander in Rwanda, Romeo Dallaire. There are days that, that it is um, close to being unbearable to go back to hell. Um, and there are uh, other days where, in fact, you try to uh, rationalize uh, where we're going from that experience. The United Nations was criticized for ignoring Dallaire's warnings that a slaughter was imminent. What for occurred left a deep emotional scar on the I military man turned politician. Uh, Dallaire has made it his life's mission to not let the international work. community forget. Uh, and, and we've written a lot of paperwork, but it hasn't been action in the field. A lot's changed here at the United Nations since the Rwandan genocide. Peacekeepers can be deployed more quickly, and member states have accepted that the international community has a responsibility to protect people from mass atrocities when their own governments won't. But as the violence in South Sudan, Central African Republic, and Syria shows, the UN can't do much without the political will of member states. The nation states that make up the UN and represented here, their capitals are still fundamentally focused on self-interest and haven't moved the political leadership into a level of statesmanship where in fact they can recognize a sense of responsibility to humanity. The Canadas and the Germanys and the Japans and the, and the, the uh, Brazils and, and, and the Scandinavian countries, they're the ones who should be in the front lines. They bring no baggage or very little into these conflicts. They're there, they don't project being uh, countries who want to sort of take over and, and become uh, invading forces. Rwanda's U.S. ambassador says the world needs more people like Romeo Dallaire. International community doesn't stop anything. It's the people within the international community. It's the commitment by people. You know, because international community is a blank face. But it takes people like Romeo Dallaire to actually stand up and to promote his own integrity, his sense of integrity, his sense of justice. Thank you very much. And that is just what he continues to do. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, the United Nations.